Hey everyone, it's Ava. Today I'm at my amazing high school. Well, as amazing as a high school can be because really I'm just done with school. But anyway, today I am with... Nick Tolbert on On The Spot Interviews. Well, I'm so glad that we're finally able to do this. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet me and do this interview. Oh, no problem. Anything for you, Ava. Anything <laughs> for you. So we're doing a solo interview even though you are in a band. But um, let's first talk. Tell me about this. It looks so good. This here is Popeye Energy. It's my favorite drink. If you ever see it out in the stores, you guys should buy it. It's, okay. it's awesome. It's a good drink. It's, it's an energy drink, yes, but it's not like Monster or Full Throttle. Totally should buy it. I have stickers all over my base and amps. Oh, you do? So do they sponsor you? or? Uh, no, they don't sponsor me, but the owner's son, God Kid, is my good friend. So. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha. That's cool. Okay, so you're in the band called Broken Battle. How'd you come up with that name? Uh, you know, it was we had a name picked out the first time, and someone already took it. And so we picked up a second. Did you name. almost get sued or something? Yeah. And then the second time, we brought up the Broken Chairs, and then someone was like, "Oh, I think it's already a band." So then we figured, well, if we just take the first part of the first name we came up with and the second part and put it together, then you know. And that's how the name came about. So how would you, how would you describe your sound? Because um, it's definitely not pop or anything like mainstream. We cover all kinds of genres, and you know our main genres are punk, hard rock. Um, but we do everything: classic rock, reggae. You know, it really all depends where we're playing, what we're playing, what the kind of mood we're in. But in our set list, we cover all kinds of genres. What's your favorite place that you've been able to perform? Besides Rock the Hill, of course, because that was amazing. The crowd was crazy. Did you see them going like that? Yeah, I just saw them headbanging. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay. Headbanging, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Rock the Hill was the first time that we've played at a show together with as a band. Oh. Um, it's definitely one of those shows that you're never going to forget. You know, you have a bunch of great musicians out there supporting you on. It was a good show. It really was. So that's just one of those shows, and it's our first show, so, you know, we were told we were good. There's always room for improvement, but overall, we did pretty well. That's great. I wanted to ask you, do you have any upcoming shows or any benefit concerts? Uh, We're looking at putting a show together on October 12th. Oh, okay. It's for my guitarist, his grandparents. It's their anniversary. Oh. We were asked to play there, so we're thinking about doing that. Um. Other than that, it's really just getting out, getting around, seeing where we can play. You know, just it's all part of the experience. Now, I know that you also, when either you do, like, you did a benefit concert a while ago, and then Rock the Hill, of course, is raising money for our music program. And you did charity work in the past, right, with, like, scouts or something? Can you tell us about that? Uh, I'm a life scout, working on my eagle. I'm doing my eagle scout project on Camp Pendleton building a handicap ramp for the wounded. So that's one of the things, you know, I've talked about you know, having a concert, raising money to help pay for that. Um, haven't brought it up to the band yet, but I'm sure they would be down with it. No, if you do a concert for that, I'll get you everything you need. I'll get you media, I'll get you paparazzi, not paparazzi. I'll get you a red carpet, a step and repeat. Um, I'll. I'll help you with that definitely because a location too because I as you know I love that stuff no and if people don't know that about me you don't know me at all so <laughs> okay so I always do this for people who I know that I interview they get to spill three things about me keep it clean well it doesn't matter because I'm not a dirty girl but make sure I'm not going to go cry myself to sleep tonight because it's that embarrassing but you can say any three things you want about me that maybe they don't know because they only see this professional side to me well, I don't know if you really want me to go there, Ava. No. But uh, you're pretty funny. You know, I miss the carpools together, oh, those car rides. Fun. That was so fun. Um, you're super smart. And for whatever reason, you always find something to yell at me about. Yell? Yeah. I always found something to yell at me about in the car. I did? Yeah, did? I thought I just found something to laugh about. So, Ava, I have a question for you. Yes. What do you think of our band? Well, I've only heard you guys play once, but I think that's, I thought you guys did great, and you have Emily as the drummer, and I've heard her drum by herself, it's 
the coordination involved in that, like just being able to play the flute, like, okay, it's great, but the coordination involved in hands and feet is just incredible. So I think you guys are on the right track. I think you just need to get yourselves out there as much as you can. Um, yeah, who, who, do you have a manager or are you doing this all yourself? Um, I guess you can say we have a manager. It's Mr. Zeitz, Emily's dad, my drummer's dad. Uh, but really, you know, Adrian, my guitarist, his parents are real supportive also. My parents are real supportive. Joey, my singer, real supportive. Uh, you know, Russell and I, Russell, he's joining our band. He's going to be our new lead. Um, him and I, we kind of put together practices and call around and get shows together. Um, that's really who really manages us until, you know, we start creating a lot more originals, you know. But other than that, right now, it's just kind of parents and band mm -hmm. coordinating it all together. Well, can you give us the links for all the social media for the band so we can, you know, click that like button for you and stuff? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, Do you have one? Yeah, it, okay. it's Facebook slash Broken Battle. You'll go up there. Um, we should have videos of Rock the Hill up. We have some pictures of Rock the Hill up on there already. Oh, good. Um, we also have an Instagram. Emily put it together. I don't remember what it's called. I don't use Instagram. <laughs> okay. But it's, like I said, it's a relatively new band. So we're starting off. Those two songs that we wrote at Rock the Hill, we wrote those in two different practices. And it wow. turned out really well. It's, it's it's just kind of, you know, you have a bunch of great musicians on their instruments, and other than that, if you have really great musicians, then you have good songs. Exactly. Well, do you, can you purchase the songs on iTunes yet, or is it, are you still needing to get in the studio and stuff? Uh, we have a couple of opportunities to get in studios. We are, we were thinking about waiting a little bit longer, and then we watched the video from Rock the Hill, and we thought, you know, our first original that we played at Rock the Hill we literally wrote that song in a matter of two hours, and it turned out really well. You wrote not you, the lyrics and the like. The lyrics and the beat, yeah. Oh my gosh. The lyrics, you know, it's lyrics. It's mainly my singer and I that work on them, and then you know, we bring up the lyrics. We'll have our drummer play a beat. I make up a bass line. My guitarist does a guitar rift, and then you know we kind of sit through and like, oh, maybe you should do this. This is how this should be done. This should be when the chorus comes in. And that's really how a lot of our songs are, you know, we just say this is what we think and then we'll play it through and we'll say yes or no. And then we just practice it, practice it, and then it's like, hey, you know, this song turned out really well. Mm. It's definitely something that we have going for us is writing our own songs rather than doing covers. No, that, that actually will set you apart in the long run because you're going even the extra mile. So it's, it's really great. So the song is called Loner. Um, we put that together literally in less than an hour you know we just wrote down the lyrics to oh it. my gosh sorry guys i hate bees okay okay we We're wrote good. down the lyrics to it uh i kind of created the chorus part to it it's one of those songs that like it kind of builds you up to start a mosh pit and then oh i love those and it's just it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's one of those songs but uh you know it's it's like i said we literally with the support of our fans and our parents and our family, we couldn't do it without any of them. So we thank you guys all for that. So you should hopefully like us on Facebook, Broken Battle. Um, thanks, Ava, for giving me a chance to interview. Oh, anytime. You can even become a series regular. <laughs> Maybe next time you can interview the whole band together. Yes, yes, that'd be great, yeah. But other than that, don't forget to like On The Spot interviews and Broken Battle. Awesome. Th thank you, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm actually thinking of doing um, a press day once a week and once a week <laughs> at school. But anyway, my videographer's hand is hurting, so we're going to go. All right, thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bye. I forgot my tripod. <laughs> I forgot my tripod. Okay, Bye. <laughs> Shout out to my little brother, Caillou! Yep.